Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my July favourites. Woo! Pretty exciting, right? Um, I've got a mix of favourites, both beauty and other random stuff. So I am just going to get stuck in and I have a mini announcement at the end so you can, if you don't want to see the favourites, you can skip to the end or you can just hang about and I'll tell you at the end. First favourite, I'll start with the random favourites first, shall I? First favourite is this. Oh, I just dropped my pencil over it. It's my A5 planner from Paper Chase. I love it. Like, seriously, I absolutely love it. I have been using it for blogging notes and as you can see I've already sort of been populating it. And in the planner section, I've been listing the various videos and taking them off as I go. And the diary has just been really good. And it's just, I've got a to-do list all the time in there. It's just so nice having everything in one place and having it with me all the time. So if I'm at work and I think of a really good idea, I can put it in here. Or if I'm out and about and I think of it, I can put it in here. Or vice versa, if I'm doing, if I'm, you know, it's just, I've got the diary then if I need to phone up and do something. And my to-do list has been really good for actually getting stuff done, like registering with the doctor and make, make an appointment to get my ear sorted. And all the normal stuff that you need from a diary, as well as all the good stuff of like all the blogging stuff. So handy. Um, as yeah, it's just I've been so enjoying it, and my little stickers and stuff live at the front, and it's just I love it. I very much love it, and I generally keep a pencil in it wherever the pencil just fell. Aha, pencil, mechanical pencil. I like to have a mechanical pencil because you know you need to rub stuff out. Uh, my only thing was so the notes that I have these here that they were slipped in at the back in this folder section. But they were getting really rounded on the corners, so I have clipped them in at the back. I may just actually take them out for now, because it's too much for the diary. But yeah, that was my only annoyance with it. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying having this. And it's just so much easier than carrying two books around, like a diary and this. So I've got it all in one, and it's it's very, very good. Very, very handy. would recommend checking out getting a big uh, planner if that's your thing. The other random favourite, camera case, really nice. I mentioned this in a haul quite recently. I'll link the haul down below, love it. And the thing that the ca it's for, this camera, loving it. It's the Canon GX or G7X and I'm loving the little micro muff. It's like a little um, wide mohawk, I guess, for the camera. But I've been really enjoying this and flipping it up. I'm still getting used to it and playing with the settings and I've been taking pictures with it and you know, just playing with it a lot and still learning a lot. But it's so handy for those, um, what do you call them? Silky montages or whatever you like to call them, depending on which vlogger you watch. Uh, but you can actually put the camera down and walk towards it or past it or, you know, do various actions in front of it without having to hold it. And because it's always pain with a phone. My phone, I had to prop it somewhere and make sure it didn't tip and I can just leave this standing up all by itself. And it's so handy and it's quite robust so far. It lives in my bag all of the time, just in case. So very much enjoying that. Um, the last random favourite. Don't know if you can see that. Let me just get you closer. Game of Thrones audiobook. I have been listening to audiobooks. It's not a sponsored anything. I'm aware a lot of people use Audible. I pay for it myself and whatever else. But like, I've started listening to Game of Thrones and I see what the fuss is about. Like really. I don't know why I'm saying like all the time. But I very much see what the fuss is about and it's so nice to listen to to and from work and just when I've been doing stuff uh, when I'm getting ready to vlog and I was, or blog I mean, record this. I was putting my makeup on I was listening to it and in the mornings I listen to it and at night time I listen to it. I listen to it a lot. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this, the Game of Thrones. Epic. Really, really good. The next three words are all beauty. The first thing I'm going to mention are these. Now I don't normally mention these fake nails, but I have the Impress Press On ones. Oh no, what are they called? Elegant Touch Express Press On Manicure. I had little black ones and you would have seen them in a vlog and some videos. I, I even had somebody mention that they really like my nails. I had put these on just to stop me picking at my nails and they did a really good job. And I just, I forgot how much I like them as well. I've got some other glue on ones that I really like, but I particularly like the press on ones. They're just so handy and they just do a good job. They stay on for, mine stayed on for the best part of a week, which is pretty good going. 
Um, and the black ones I quite like, so I may get some more black ones for future. I've painted my nails since. Painted my nails today, managed to chip my thumb already. What is that about? But yeah, so loving, loving these very, very, very much. I have a few lip favourites. Surprised, right? Um, <laughs> they're all orangey tones. I'm wearing a corally lip today and I've got the nails going on. I'm clearly feeling the coral at the minute. But some I've been really, really enjoying. So I have the Maybelline Colour Sensational Shocking Coral. And this is like a pinky toned coral. It's like very pink, but it's definitely a sort of more corally pink. Like that, I've been enjoying having the bow lip. So really like that. And something I'm actually wearing today, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Streak. This is like a glittery, corally, peachy coral. So more that way. And that's it there. So I've been quite enjoying, I'll do some close-ups, shall I, of this. But really enjoying that tone. I have that on underneath the lip that I'm wearing, which is this one. This is from Jordana. It's a Twist and Shine in Candid Coral. And it's more of an orangey toned coral. So I've got an array and that's it there. Um, I've been very, very much enjoying these. Really like it. Would definitely recommend checking them out. I've generally fallen in love with the Giordana Twist and Giants. I have a few of them from Rebecca, uh, her channel's Rebecca Lately. I will link it down below. We did a US UK swap and she sent this as well as a few others and this has been the latest one that I've been loving a lot <laughs> so absolutely love it I would recommend them and they're so nice to pop on and isn't it such a nice shade just me I like it so those are the lip favorites don't roll away um I have some eye favorites I have the soap and glowy lid stuff and this is in wallflower now I did do a makeup tutorial using all of the shades actually so you can check that out, I'll link it down below, it's just an everyday sort of look but just with a nice few colours in there and I just wanted to demonstrate how I've been using it so often, really really enjoy it, just so nice, you can see they're all well dented, maybe you can't see but they are all well dented, I definitely recommend checking them out, I was really impressed with these actually, I'll do a review on this soon I think. And the other eyeshadow palette is this. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's all covered in fingers, fingerprints, I should say. Again, I use this in the same tutorial, so I will link it down below. And I do have a review coming up on this. Actually, very impressed with this. I was a bit hmm at the start, but I have used a fair majority of them, actually, if you have a look. You can sort of see they're all dinted a wee bit with my brushes. I'm actually really impressed with these. Uh, for £8, it's a bit of a bargain really. And they all, some of them have better pigmentation than others. Like the black isn't particularly black, it's more of a grey. But the rest of the shades are genuinely pretty good. Um, you may have to build up the colour with some of them, but they blend well, they don't cling to dry patches, not that I have many at the minute, but they blend out really nicely without just disappearing into your crease completely or disappearing into your skin completely. Um, and I'm just, I'm actually really impressed with this. As I said, I have a re proper review coming up, so you can check that out. It'll have swatches and uh, a little clip of just the application of those by themselves, and I will link the video as well where these were used. So, that is it. Um, oh, one other favourite. Where has it gone? This. I'm all about the coral at the minute. Loving this scarf. I got this scarf. Where did I get it? I got it actually at the spring summer event for, I think it was Debenhams, a wee while ago. And I've been digging, I dug everything out obviously for the summer. And I didn't wear it initially and now I've been wearing it all the time. And I've had so many compliments. Like, just lots of compliments because it is you know it's like a neon coral pinky coral sort of shade um it's very similar to actually this sort of shade here it's just fabulous and it's so nice and it's quite light so if you're just wearing like a plain t-shirt you can just pop this on and it brightens everything up brightens your face up i am i like to have scarves on me because when i'm at work you know it'd be lovely and warm outside you get into work and there's air conditioning and it gets really cold i'm not the biggest fan of air conditioning i'm aware it's a necessity but you know it just 
gives me headaches and <laughs> I just don't get on well with it. But I have learned to sort of deal with it and it's fine and I just make sure I've got a scarf with me so I don't get a draft or a creak in my neck. Uh, but that scarf in particular has had so many comments and it's just so nice with either black or white t-shirt. Goes really well, just plain t-shirts. So nice. Recommend it. Oh, one last favourite I entirely forgot to write down. What? The last favourite. This little roller ball. This is from Kiko and it's the Essential Rose Cherry Perfume. Again, you would have maybe seen it in a haul at the start of the month. Well, it should have been at the start of the month. Anyway, um, love it. Haven't actually got any perfume on. I should pop some on. This lives in my bag. And you just pop a bit on and you're good to go. I really enjoy the scent. It's sweet without being sickly. Um, it's just quite nice and floral and just really nice and I love the fact that it just lives in this little drawstring bag and it's in my handbag all the time that's why I had to run and get it it just lives in my handbag so so handy I have other scents but this is the one I'm currently loving the mostest so I would recommend checking them out I think they're relatively cheap in Kiko you can buy the single ones by themselves so I will find out and link it down below I'm not sure if you can get the pouch with it when it's bought um, individually because I bought the set but love it, they're very very handy just to pop in your bag. I'm not sure how robust it would be popping it in by itself. You can see how much I've used already. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. I almost forgot to do the announcement bit. Uh, so in August there are two YouTube events going on that I'm going to. Um, one in Dublin at UCD and it's CrackCon. So if you're in Ireland or in Dublin and you want to meet some Irish YouTubers, we're all getting together at CrackCon. Um, the it's on. Oh, let me just check my diary. I've forgotten the date right out of the top of my head. It is yes, Saturday the eighth of August, and um, in order to cover the cost of the venue, etc., the organisers are charging five euro, which is pretty cheap, frankly. Um, and it starts at like twelve o'clock. So I will leave the event links down below. There are loads of. Uh, big Irish YouTubers going. You've got Melanie Murphy, um, James Mitchell, you've got a few different well-known YouTubers. Um, Claire from Clizair. Um, who else? Can't think off the top of my head. But there are um, quite a few YouTubers going and maybe some you've not heard of. I am meeting them all and they're really good YouTubers and such nice people. So definitely check it out if you're available on the 8th of August you can come down and meet us all and you know hang out and have picnic lunch type thing so you know we can all meet up it'd be really good fun so that's the big announcement I'm also going to summer in the city the weekend after I'm going to the creators day and I'm thinking about going to the Saturday as well dragging my husband along I got us both week weekend tickets because you know I'm not gonna go on my own <laughs> but yeah we're both going to that so two events in August, it's going to be back to back because one weekend in Dublin, the next weekend in London and I've got the week off in between to see family and see people at home before I then fly back on my birthday. I'm flying back on the 13th of August which is my birthday back to Brighton to get sorted to then go to the Creators Day on the Friday which is going to be busy as. So that is it, big announcement. And that is it for my favourites. So thank you very very much for watching. Please like if you liked, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Okay.